Hi, my name is Jason, and I come from a poor family. I don't know what you put on your chicken today, but you killed my mommy today. <coughs> Doctor told me it was salmonella that killed my, my, my brother. But I don't know what that is since I have no education and I, I work in the factory all day. Please, fight for my rights and check what's in my meat. I lost my son in the Spanish-American War, not because of battle, but from a piece of meat. The people who are serving our country are dying at the hands of the meat makers. What a disgrace it is for those who pay the ultimate sacrifice just to die from a rotten piece of meat. So in overcoming meat packer opposition, President Theodore Roosevelt pushed through Congress the Federal Meat Inspection Act of 1906, which authorized inspectors from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to stop any bad or mislabeled meat from entering interstate and foreign commerce, thus expanding federal regulation of private enterprise. So for over 20 years, Harvey W. Wiley, chief chemist at the Department of Agriculture, led a pure food crusade. He and his poison squad tested chemicals added to preserved foods and found many were dangerous to human health. The uproar over muckraker Upton Sinclair's industry exposing the jungle revived Wiley's lobbying efforts in Congress for federal food and drug regulation. On the same day Roosevelt signed the Meat Inspection Act, he passed the Pure Food and Drug Act, regulating food editors and prohibiting misleading labeling of food and drugs legislation, which led to the formation of Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. We need change. We need inspectors. Save our meat before it's too late.